Hi, welcome to Your Great Journey. Each week, we offer you brief tips, techniques, and insights to help you move in positive directions and master big change. For more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W E T W A R E M E D I A.com. Today we're sharing an excerpt from Jeff Foster's audiobook, Falling in Love with Where You Are a year of prose and poetry on radically opening up to the pain and joy of life. You'll find yourself able to accept your life joyfully, no matter what you're going through. You'll see crisis as an opportunity to heal, pain as an intelligent messenger, and your imperfections as perfectly placed. Jeff will guide, provoke, encourage, and inspire you on your lonely, joyful, and sometimes exhausting, pathless journey to the home you never ever left. The present moment. In this excerpt, Jeff shares comforting wisdom about the vast intelligence at work in our lives, an intelligence that breathes us at night, beats our heart, and heals our wounds. He asks us to consider what might happen if we stop clinging to old dreams, mourn their loss, and face the raw, broken open reality of things as they are. When the ground falls, What happens when the ground beneath your feet gives way? A relationship ends unexpectedly, success turns to failure overnight, a loved one dies, you receive a diagnosis out of the blue, and you suddenly feel a profound groundlessness, a deep uncertainty, the sense that your world is spinning out of control. Nothing feels real anymore. It feels like your life is no longer your life, like you're in some strange kind of impersonal movie, like you don't know where to turn or even stand. The future, which once seemed so solid and real, is now exposed for the lie and the fairy story that it was, and your dreams of tomorrow crumble to dust. Tomorrow was never going to happen, not in the way you had unconsciously planned anyway. There are no answers that will satisfy now, no authorities to guide you, since Nobody can experience your experience for you, and nobody has the answers you need, and you feel profoundly alone on a tiny planet spinning in a vast and unfathomable space. You feel like crawling back into the womb, but the womb has disappeared. Wonderful, oh wonderful, what an invitation this is. Life has not gone wrong, for life cannot go wrong. For all is life, and life is all. Only our dreams and plans about life can crumble, but life itself cannot. This present experience, this confusion and cosmic doubt, this heartbreak, is not against life. This is life, raging life, vibrant life, the sacred life of the moment. This is not the wrong scene in the movie. This is the movie, however hard that is to see right now. There is a vast intelligence at work here, an intelligence that breathes us at night and beats our heart, pumps blood around the body, and heals our wounds when we are not even around to notice or care. What happens when, just for a moment, we stop trying to figure it all out, we stop clinging to the old dreams and stop mourning their loss, and we face the raw, broken open reality of things as they are? What happens when, Just for a moment, we actually take the radical and unexpected step of saying yes to the uncertainty, the doubt, the confusion, the pain, the heartbreak. What happens when we affirm the unsolved mystery instead of trying to escape it? What happens when we turn towards the devastation rather than away from it? What happens when we actually trust the broken openness of things? and allow the deep intelligence of life to work its magic through the guise of devastation. Can it be okay, just for a moment, to not have the answers, to not have the reference points, to not know anything anymore? Can it be okay, just for a moment, 
to feel this, whatever shape this is taking now. And in the midst of the rubble, can we once again breathe and contact that place within ourselves, that most intimate and familiar place of silence and deep presence? The place that doesn't need to know and doesn't care about the outcome of dreams and doesn't want any answers. Can we remember that stillness that has secretly always been our best friend? Can we relax into that clarity which has never left? Can we take our stand as that awareness that cannot be destroyed? Perhaps the cosmic intelligence that we are has not actually abandoned us, and right at the heart of the seeming mess of this moment, there is something that is not involved in the mess at all. We can call it love, or God, or consciousness, or simply who we really are, prior to our dreams of how life should be, of how this moment should look and feel and taste and sound and smell. Perhaps our dreams are there to be broken, and our plans are there to crumble, and our tomorrows are there to dissolve into today's, and perhaps all of this is one giant invitation to wake up from the illusion of control and embrace wholeheartedly what is present. Perhaps it is all a call to compassion, to a deep embrace of this universe in all its bliss and pain and bittersweet glory. Perhaps we were never really in control of our lives, and perhaps we are constantly invited to remember this, since we constantly forget it. Perhaps suffering is not the enemy at all, and, at its core, there is a first-hand, real-time lesson we must all learn, if we are to be truly human and truly divine. Perhaps breakdown always contains the seeds of breakthrough. Perhaps suffering is simply a rite of passage, not a test or a punishment, nor a signpost to something in the future or past, but a direct pointer to the mystery of existence itself, here and now. Perhaps our lives cannot go wrong at all. Thanks for listening to this excerpt from the audiobook, Falling in Love with Where You Are, a year of prose and poetry on radically opening up to the pain and joy of life. You can purchase the complete audiobook from any major online audiobook retailer. If you'd like more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Please be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. And if you like the show, please rate it and review it. And please share it with friends who might also enjoy it. Thanks for listening. Have a great week. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com.